Well, there's a first for everything, and today we are on our first Princess Cruise. Believe it or not, with all of the cruises we've been on, we have never sailed on Princess. So I'm super excited. We are on the Sun Princess, the new Sun Princess. This is the first sailing out of Port Everglades, and we are super excited to check her out. It was a little chaotic getting here, but we're here, and that's all that matters. Well, it feels great to be in this room. It smells so new. I actually opened one of the cupboards a minute ago and I got that woof of um, like fresh new paint. It was, it was awesome. So um, everything is clean and beautiful so far. It was a little chaotic getting here. I will say there was hundreds and hundreds of people out there waiting to get in, waiting in line. The lines were like four rows long, and, um, kind of going in, but they did kind of, it, it kept moving. You know, you weren't just standing still. And we got here about, I think, 11. We ended up getting on the ship about 12.30. So, you know, hey, that's what it was. This is the first revenue sailing out of Port Everglades here for the Sun Princess. So maybe that'll get a little better as time goes on. And I also heard someone say that there was no separate lines for priority or anything today. There was just one line to get in. So that might have made it a little longer as well. But we're happy. We're here now. Um, it's time to kind of explore the ship a little more. Um, and I'll show you our balcony later because I booked this balcony cabin because it has a huge balcony. I love it um, so far. So um, anyways, I'm just excited. So I'm just, we're going to go do our master drill. We got to take care of that first before they kick us off the ship. <laughs> and then we're going to go find some food. So um, let's go explore this ship. The beautiful new sun princess jamie just asked me where we have to go for the mustard drill because we have the medallion so it's we're used to the cards where it has the mustard station on it and i'm like oh let me think about that i don't know and then i remembered all cruise lines pretty much have them on the back of the door here and princess is no exception so we were right here on deck 14. we are going to go boom 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 right down there to deck seven um so let's go let me show you this really quick it's really cool oh actually the picture's back <laughs> i was it has our names on it but when we got here both of our pictures were up here by our name but then they went away and now they're back once you get close to it that's where your picture pops back up otherwise it just has your name come look at all the other doors and there's no pictures you're so smart sharon you're so <laughs> smart you figured it out i figured it out <laughs> we're gonna get the hang of these medallions they're super cool Sharon, tell me a little something about these elevators. Are they oh. smart? Are, are they smarter than us or are we smarter than them? <laughs> they are the smart elevators. But yeah, so you push um, the deck you're going to and then it's going to take you right to that deck. That prevents you from st stopping at every floor. All right, well, we're in search of a muster station and I think I see, I think I see our it. station right over there. Oh, over Ooh, and while we're walking around here, we're uh, on deck seven, the after the ship, we've got the crown grill right over here. So that looks super nice. And we've got a bar right here, the wheelhouse bar. You might have to check that out as well and put that package to you, Sharon. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Oh, another thing we got to do. We have to go and get a couple of our specialty dinings switched around today, too. That's important. Good call. Okay. We, got, we got a big to-do list today. We All better right, get let's busy. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Let's check in right here. Mustard drill time. Make sure you do it early, guys. Early. All right, so let's see how hard it is for Sharon to check on her mustard drill station. Okay, That's it? Thank you. Okay, okay. Your turn. Okay, here's how it is. It's very challenging, guys. You go like this. There we go. And then they say, boom, you're good. And now we're safe. All right. I'm ready for any evacuation situation. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. 
All right, so we're searching around to see where we want to go for our big lunch. I'm sure I'm positive that we planned this already before we got here, but now things are just, um, they're just crazy right We had now. all these ideas and then and we got on board and, you know, everything is so overwhelming. So we forgot what we were going to eat. All right, now well, we have to figure it out. So they have a cool, like, interactive uh, screen right here by the elevator. We're mid-ship now on deck seven. But I think we can say, like, okay, let's go to deck eight. And then it'll tell you where there's uh, different things to do. Um, oh, that's very cool. Look how yeah, nice that is. And you is. can just uh, change the, the, the screen and what it's showing you to different locations. Well, what about six? Is there food on six? No, it doesn't look like anything there. What about nine? Oh, there's some, okay. Deck nine, that's where we want to go. Well, hey, what's going on, everybody? Jamie here from Sharon C. Travel. That's right, I'm here too with Sharon. She's not just alone on the cruise. We just had to stop here in O'Malley's. It's a um, uh, it's a bar here on the cruise ship. Uh, they also serve food here. It is something that should be part of the package that we have where food is included in, uh, in our, our package on board the ship. But we got here and Things are moving a little slow. There's a lot of people at the bar waiting for drinks. A number of people just sat down to get some food. We sat down a few minutes ago. Um, and it, I don't know, Sharon, it's not, it's not moving too fast I, here. We may have I to think, make a move. Yeah, I think we're going to go eat somewhere else today and, and try O'Malley's another day mm -hmm. because it's already 137 to be exact. The sail, the sail away party is starting at, I think, 315. And we have a lot of things we want to do before that. So, um, I don't know, we're gonna, I, yeah, let's go find somewhere to eat quicker We're gonna today. move on. Yeah. Okay, so, all right, we'll be I'll back on that. And, we'll be back. and see where we end up. <laughs> well, this is a little underwhelming for embarkation day, but we ended up at the eatery, which is the buffet. I got a nice Caesar, chicken Caesar salad, so that's a good way to kind of start things Thank off. You. I know we're gonna have a big dinner tonight and it's already almost two o'clock, so. Um, I think I'll be good. It looks like Jamie got some meatballs. And I don't know. I just kind of jumped in where I could, and I got some uh, some meatballs, a couple of um, um, pot stickers, some chicken, some fish. Yeah, it's a little. Um, all right, it's a little bland, a little plain, and things were mostly empty there on the buffet. But you know what? Listen. It is packed in here, and it's very confusing on where people are, where the line starts, where it stops. And totally. you feel like you're taking cuts in front of people, even though you're not always. And yes. Yeah. But it's, it's your standard buffet on embarkation day. It's just chaotic after chaotic uh, interaction. So um, we're going to eat, get some sustenance going on, and then, and then the real fun begins. We're at the top of what they call the Piazza area, kind of like the atrium area that you might know on other cruise ships. So it goes down from uh, 9 to 8 to 7 there. Uh, a nice area down there that where you're going to hear music, they're going to have entertainment and such. Nice seating right here too, looks comfy. And the International Cafe is on the starboard side. Oh look, and there's and Alfredo's right Alfred behind us. Oh my gosh, Alfredo's Pizza right here, Sharon pointing out. Right, and that's going to be a sit down kind of a time right. experience, right? Yeah, but it's just pizza on the ship. Yeah. Just pizza on the ship? Just pizza. Oh, okay. I, that's they used to have other things on. I don't know if they still do on some of the other ships, but they had more options. But it's just pizza now, at least on the Sun Princess. All right, and I can grab and go. It's a whole sit down deal. Yeah, yeah, sit down. Okay, we'll know that for next time. All right, so uh, we're, we're still in the process of getting back to the room, but we're looking for a bar to get a water to take back. So let's see if we can have any luck. It's not like us to not be able to find a bar. Um, so uh, I don't know if it's us or if it's the ship, but uh, where's the bar? <laughs> well, 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 look what we've stumbled on here. The Princess Casino, right here on the Sun Princess. Still deck, uh, deck eight now. We dropped one deck, still in search of a bar to get a water, but we stumbled across this area here. Looks like a couple of roulette tables, a bunch of card tables as well. I see a crafts table at the end. For all of our casino gambling friends out there, We've got a lot of slots and things in here. That's correct. It's not up and running yet. Not till we set sail. But here's just a little look. It is just so clean. Sharon mentioned earlier about our cabin. It's got that new car smell. Ooh, I like this. I like the blue felt. So we get our crafts group on here too. We got some more games back there. It's not huge, but it's a nice size. And so we'll see how it plays a little bit later on during our trip. 
All right, so we just got back to the cabin. We met Lay, our cabin steward, super nice guy. One thing that we got to do, and they were announcing it, they said, make sure you guys have done both steps of the mustard drill. We still have a thousand people that haven't done it. Make sure that not only do you have to check into your mustard station, but you have to watch the video. We didn't watch the video yet. If we didn't watch this video, guys, we may have been kicked off of the ship and told that we cannot cruise this week. We were one of those thousand people. We were here one we, of the thousand. Here we were eating, thinking like, oh my gosh, hopefully those people get that done. And yes. here we're one of them. That's right. So we're <laughs> going to kick on the TV here. And um, let's see. Welcome to Safety Essentials. Uh, we already visited our station. Now we need to watch the video. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, watch yeah. Oh, they got a whole thing going on here. Wow. It says watch safety video. Okay, I'm going to hit start. Okay, the following guests will receive credit for watching the video. And boom, there we go. Ooh, all right. Well, and now let's be safe, Sharon. Let's be safe. Excuse us while we watch our video. <laughs> Get here early to get his bottle on the wall. All right, well, we came up here. The Sail Away celebration was going on. Just music playing, the band playing. I love a live band. So that was super cool. Sailing away out of Fort Lauderdale. It's a lot prettier than you'd think. One side's very commercial, but one side is gorgeous. And you can see all the palm trees and the homes and everything. Sharon is here. And uh, Sharon, what do you... What do you got going on there, girl? Well, I have my margarita here. Look at this. It's in a traditional margarita glass. That's pretty cool. And it's good, too. It's a good margarita. Well, the sail away party was fun but short lived. Sharon's plowing down on her not so frozen anymore strawberry margarita. She loved the glass. The drink's not too bad either. But now we're going to head to the dome and see if we can see what's going on in there. We've heard good things about it. Although earlier, it's very warm when the ship's not moving. But now that we're moving, there may be a very nice breeze coming through here. Oh my God. This is super cool. Just check this place out. All the way forward on the ship. Up here, deck 17. Oh, wow. Look at that. Very, very cool area. And here's the view from the other side. It's just super cool, right? You've got a pool down there, a retractable stage, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to do a little fun events here, little shows, things like that. Friends over there waving to us. There they are. And what a sound system. Holy cow. Nice stuff here. Very awesome. The dome here on Sun Princess. We uh, just left the dome area. And look at this thing. This is super cool. They've got a lot of really neat art type stuff here. It's a little waterfall looking deal. I like it a lot. So now we came inside to the Cascade Bar. Let's see if we can get a beverage in here. It's a nice spot right off of the uh, right off of the dome. The the seafood bar is up front too, but they closed that area off. Maybe it's getting windy. Maybe they're planning something. I'm not sure. So Cascade Bar it is. Time to get another little beverage. Well, we've regrouped a little bit. We came back, got unpacked, all the usual embarkation day 
things. And now it is dinner time. We have a 7.30 reservation at the Soleil Dining Room. Now, um, as of like a week or so ago, there were there was two dining rooms, two main dining rooms, both called the Horizon on the ship. And then also an American diner that I guess you could kind of eat more, less fancy foods. But now they've changed the names. Now that they've made a few dining changes and moved some dining rooms around on the ship this last week, there is the Soleil Dining and the Eclipse Dining Room. So we are going to go to the Soleil Dining Room for dinner. It is, it's either forward or aft, but I know it's on deck six. So <laughs> we'll let you know when we get there. We're going to go find it. So let's go. Well, it's been a while since we've been on a cruise ship and we had really no idea where we were going at all. Um, every place we go, we're having to stop by the elevator, check the, uh, check the LED kind of sign, see what's on what deck, head there, go back and forth, aft, forward, midship. We don't know. So uh, your guess is as good as mine with some places. It's either right, this is what I was talking about. We, we have to stop at the, uh, at the, the sign every time here to see uh, where the places we want to go. We're trying to make a quick stop on the way to the dining room to make a few adjustments to some of our specialty dining. So we wanted to see if we can go to Rudy's really quick. So we just have to bump through and look at all the venues on each deck until we can find it. Sharon, are you having any luck yet? Um, I know they moved. I think Rudy's is one of the dining venues that they moved. They did. So. They threw a curveball at us. They moved some of the things here uh, in the past couple weeks as they made some major changes to the ship. So let's see what we can find. Why don't we just go there for dinner? The laundromat. Do they have something oh tasty gosh. to order? And here they are on the piazza. The band's getting ready to jam. Pretty cool little area here. And then right across the way here is the Coffee Currents place. I'm not sure what the hours are, if they're open here or not. But they got a nice little seating area right over here you can hang out in. Have a little coffee, listen to the music. Going to the Soleil dining room and it's, it's a little packed. It's a little busy. But that's to be expected. First night, people are figuring out the whole chain. Sharon mentioned Horizons, now it's Soleil and Eclipse. All right, we're going to work through it. We're going to work through it. Hello, hello. Well, we made it. Sharon, you made it to your table. Go ahead and have a seat there, sweetheart. Very nice. So here we are, Soleil dining room. Let's see how our first meal goes. Hello, how are you, sir? Uh, you? Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Don't get too hungry when you watch this, but let's give you a little dining, night one. Sun Princess, let's go.
All right, Sharon, it's time to take a break from the amazing footage of the dinner. Before dessert comes, tell us a little bit about what you ordered for dessert. Well, I was I was ta- kind of going back and forth between the chocolate tar- caramel tart and the love boat drink. Then I scrolled down and I saw they had creme brulee. Well, you know I have to try the creme brulee on every cruise line. But I really want to try the Love Boat Dream too, and the chocolate tart. So I said, Jamie, why don't you get the chocolate tart, chocolate caramel tart, actually, and I will get the love, the Princess Love Boat Dream and creme brulee. So that's what we did. And then I decided last minute, hey, why not just throw in a fresh fruit plate? We'll keep it a little healthy at dessert. And I'm having a double espresso. So double we'll espresso. We'll see oh, where this boy. night goes. So three desserts for me tonight. Now we're gonna go to the Crooner's bar, get a beverage, and keep this party going. All right, well, the guys here at the uh, Crooner bar are absolutely crushing it. I'm pretty sure there's about 40 orders of drinks right here this guy's gotta make. Well, we just had a great time hanging out, uh, having some drinks with friends at the Crooner's Bar, and uh, the Piazza was hopping tonight, guys. I mean, it was hopping. Even Sharon was dancing around. I had no idea that Princess Cruises could party all night long. It's like 11.30 at night, and this place is still hopping. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. All I can say is wow, Sharon. Yeah, it's been a, wow. a great day. And I I would say there's a few things I think today that I kind of probably expected how it would go. But there's a lot of things that we didn't really expect. Like just about Princess in general, how everything went. And yes. everything was great. I mean, All right, well, let's, let's back up to um, dinner. Really okay. quick, just touch base on dinner. Our first night at a main dining room, the and, uh, MDR experience here on Princess. And keep in mind, it was embarkation day. So yes. embarkation day on every cruise we've been on before is always a little underwhelming you know it usually takes quite a while to get your food a you know, mediocre it's a li- yeah it's yeah. a little chaotic the first night mm-hmm. i i felt none of that tonight it did not feel like an embarkation no. day dinner amazing. everything was on point our service was exceptional very quick and the food was really good it was fabulous it was, it was, really it, was yeah. it was a 9.9 <laughs> Yeah. Niner out of ten. I mean, it was yeah. it was it was great. And then we 
thought, oh, let's go check out the dome. They were supposed to have like a, a late night kind of a yeah, the late night dance party, like all right? A, yeah, like a dance party, disco type thing, and um, and they they sure did. It, and now that's what I did not expect on Princess. Yeah, there was a lot of younger people up there, and they were kind of bopping to the music, a lot of hip hop type music and things like that. And and yeah. it was very I, hardcore yeah. hip hop bass. And, boom, yeah. and I just didn't um, expect yeah. that on Princess, you know, because you always hear like that there's an older crowd. Well, yeah. there was not an older crowd here. So it there, was, there was not much older no. crowd at all. We enjoyed Princess for the first time. And okay. uh, make sure, guys, before you leave, hit the subscribe button. Maybe hit the no notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. Hit the like button. Share it with friends and family if they're going on the Sun Princess or any other Princess cruise. Yeah. And they're new to Princess. And until next time, from all of us here at Sharon at Sea. Um, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.